Hi guys, welcome to Richard in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I make tuna fish sandwiches. This is the way my mom did it, and we have uh, uh, several ingredients that you may use. You, you don't have to use. You can make tuna fish any way you want to. This is just the way my mom did it, and uh, I think what made hers different is she put an apple in hers, little slices of apple. It's real good that way. So. And like I said, you can make it any way you want to. Tuna fish is one of those things that you can just go crazy with and experiment with. It's great either way. This is just how I do it. Okay, with that, let's get over the ingredients. First, you're going to need some uh, chunk white tuna packed in water. Make sure you drain it really well. And for the seasonings, what I've got in here, I've got some mayo, some Dijon mustard, some black pepper, some garlic, granulated garlic powder, and a pinch of salt. You can add salt later to taste. Now I'm using, I like to use dark green leafy lettuce. You can use any kind of lettuce you want. This happens to be romaine. It's real good, real healthy for you. A couple of slices of tomato. Some parsley that we're going to chop up. Of course, I mentioned the apple. A red onion. You can use white onion, yellow onion, sweet onions, any onion you want. And some lemon juice and some scallions green onions so let's let's chop up these uh these veggies and also i've got an egg boiling over here and i like to put bo a boiled egg in mine I'm not so much going to use a lot of this onion on this i just want the chives pretty much Give it a little bit of green color once you mix this up. And like I said, you can you can add celery. Sometimes I put celery in there, sometimes I don't. I'm going to discard these onions here. This is real good. I like I like making tuna salad. Um, once we get it made, what I do is I put it in the in the fridge. I don't know, eight hours or so, and let it chill and let all those flavors marry. I got to work tonight, so that's what I'm going to eat tonight after I get off. These uh, tuna fish sandwiches may have a couple of chips with it, I don't know, a couple of beers. <laughs> As always, beer seems to be my, my common drink of choice. But anyway, you don't put a lot of apple in there, just a few chunks. Don't chop it up too fine. I think that's all we're going to put in there, just, just this little bit. Just put some chunks in there. It kind of gives it some crunch. It makes it real good. At least I like it that way. Okay, and some uh, Italian flat parsley. We're just going to... Kind of hit that a couple times with the knife. All right, let's incorporate all these veggies in our tuna. And I'm not going to use all those onions. The apple. We're waiting on our egg to boil. <clears throat> all right, excuse me a second. Let me get me a spoon. And we'll mix. I know you're thinking that's not a lot of mayonnaise, but I don't really like a lot of mayonnaise in mine. I don't want my, my tuna swimming in mayonnaise. I just want it to be coated enough to really taste it. So then we just give this a mix, turn it over. Man, it smells good already. I love tuna fish sandwiches, especially with that apple in there. Like I said, that's the way my mama used to do it. And I can remember how well that tasted. See how well that's coming together there? All those pretty colors. Smells good. Mm, man. And you can salt this to taste <clears throat> after you get it made. And I know one particular viewer is going to give me some business over what I'm wearing. But to be honest with you, I wore this just to aggravate her. That's Miss E. She's a Philadelphia Eagle fan. Man, I'm trying to convert her. She lives in Texas. But, 
I don't think she's going to convert on game days twice a year when we play Philly. We're uh, lighting each other up on Facebook, giving each other the business. Okay. All we're waiting on now is this egg. Now, all you need is just a little squirt of lemon juice. You can use red wine vinegar if you like. That's good. I've done that before. But all we're waiting on now is we're going to wait for the egg to boil. And we'll chop that up. And we'll put that in there. And we'll put this in the fridge to chill for... Oh, it's going to turn out to be pretty much 9-10 hours by the time I get home from work tonight. So there you have it. My version of tuna fish sandwich. Real easy to make. It's quick. Or nice. You ain't got a lot of time. Okay, our water's boiling. We're going to turn our heat off and let that continue to boil in there. And we'll put that egg in there when it's done. But give this a try. It's real easy, quick. And I'll see y'all next time. Be nice to somebody. Bye-bye, y'all.